Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Um, this is part two of my attempt at the Squaller Challenge for January 2022. Um, if you've seen the first video, you'll know that my first attempt ended up in the bin. Torn into pieces and in the bin. And I was really <laughs> disappointed but some of the people, lovely people who watched my video gave me lots of encouragement and um, and some tips and ideas as well and I feel like I need to have another go, I need to get back on that horse and have another go at this. So, January Scholar Challenge, the sequel. Right, so this is what ended up in the bin last time. And it will be going back in the bin in this in a second because I, I I just really I just don't want to look at it. I liked the drawings, and I spent quite a lot of time on them. It just all went horribly wrong wrong when I started adding colour. A couple of people have pointed out that I could have tried um, just scribbling the markers onto plastic or, or whatever, um, and using uh, water and a brush to apply them. And that's something I, I often do, so I don't know why I didn't think of it when I first did this. I could also try scribbling it onto the paper and, and um, using a watery brush directly to the paper to see how that works. Someone else suggested that perhaps, you know, a pattern, more, more pattern would have been a good idea. And I did try to do that, but I, I didn't do very well at it. So I'm going to put these back in the bin because I don't want to be influenced by them. <laughs> But I have, I, I kept my original, luckily I kept my original drawing, or the tracing of my original drawing. So I have transferred them again to this paper that we got in the scroller box. I've left it overnight to dry because um, another thing that was pointed out by one of the people who watched that first video was that because the paper's so smooth and shiny, not shiny, it's smooth, they're very, very smooth. It takes a long time for the pigment ink to dry, so you have to be really careful because otherwise it will lift off when you put the uh, markers over it. So I did this last night pretty quickly because like the work was already done, really. In case you haven't seen what's in the January Scholar box, we've got a hard, uh, an H pencil. So this is quite hard, leaves, leaves like just a, a very light, sketch line we've got a really big fat uh, pigma micron pen I didn't even know they made a number 12 but that's lovely and that's what I've used to uh, do these outlines and then we've got four of these Karen deco brush pens now it says pigment deco brush somewhere on it it says acrylic permanent ink I'm sure somewhere in the blurb it referred to, to it as acrylic paint. To me, it feels like a paint pen, like an acrylic paint pen, but with a brush tip. And apparently they do, I, I've tried them myself on dark paper and that worked really well. They were equally vibrant on the dark paper. And um, apparently they do also work on um, glass and plastic and wood and metal and other things friend of mine here on YouTube, Just Johnny Creations, he's tried them out on some different surfaces so um, I'll try and remember to leave a link to Johnny's video because you can see him trying it out. I'm sure it said somewhere that you were supposed to store them horizontally so that's what I've been doing but now while I'm actually using them I'm going to have them up right here. Okay so my pictures are all done. Extra to the kit I've got a little uh, brush and some water and I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna um, use it straight onto my glass mat I'm going to stop waffling and concentrate on what I'm doing and hope that I can come out with something a little bit closer to what I had in my head when I first started this if not I would give it up as a bad job <laughs> But I did put a lot of work into these drawings, so it seems a shame not to give them um, a second go. Okay, 
Let's go for it, let's go for it. I feel a lot better about this one than I did on the first attempt but it's still not quite come out <laughs> how it looked in my head but that's fine I can I can live with this one <laughs> this one won't go in the bin <laughs> um, so thanks very much to everybody who encouraged me to have another go and said such kind words and thanks for the suggestions like about you know using pattern um, diluting the markers with water um, giving the pigment ink from this pen um, plenty of time to dry I'm glad I gave it no go it might not be perfect but I can live with it this time and um, I, re I really appreciate all the uh, support and encouragement <laughs> Before I go, I just want to remind you that if you fancy popping in on Sunday, I, I'm going to be doing my first ever YouTube live stream to celebrate getting 500 subscribers. Um, I think it's up to 530 something now. I'm so chuffed. I'm so flattered. I'm so grateful. And uh, I, you know, I just want to say thank you. And it'd be lovely to meet meet some of you kind of in person. Um, live on Sunday if you're able to be there. Now I'm going to be having a go at something like this negative watercolour painting. If you fancy joining me um, you just need your normal watercolour supplies. Um, I used a little bit of cardboard to cut out some leaf templates as well and, uh, but whatever watercolour paints you usually use I'm using quite a cheap set here and um, whatever brushes you're comfortable with really some tape to tape it down ever so simple give it a go um i've also supplied i will add the link to this one as well um i've also um made a coloring sheet two coloring sheets um 
I'm going to watercolour these in, in two different ways on Sunday. So I'll be doing three different watercolour paintings at the same time, all in different ways. But you could use these just as colouring sheets for pencils or, or anything else, whatever you whatever you like doing. I've got mine all ready for Sunday. I've got them already transferred to watercolour paper. Whoops. Um, so it'd be lovely if you're able to just pop in and say hello or paint along or colour along or whatever. I would really love to see you. Um, I will, I think I've already said, I will leave the link to those um, free downloadable colouring sheets if you wanted to um, use them. Put your own spin on them, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> anyway, okay, enough waffling on. I'm going to go now, I'm going to cobble this together and throw it onto YouTube. <laughs> Um, thanks again for encouraging me to get back on the horse and um, I hope you enjoyed watching that and I will see you again really soon. Bye!